Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects quick tip. And today I want to talk about merging repeaters inside of shape layers. Now, if you're used to using shape layers and merge paths, well, then this kind of makes sense to you. And what I want to tell you is that when you're merging something that's repeated, it does some weird things. So let me show you what happens. So right here I have, let me turn off this text layer. I have a repeated rectangle that goes around in a circle. All right, simple stuff. And then I have this merge shape layer that I want to use the merge paths to be able to cut out from all these rectangles this path. And you can do that in shape layers using a merge pass. But with a repeater, it does some weird things. So let me go into the merge paths. And then I want to switch this to subtract. And then, whoa, what happened? So it cut away from my original rectangle, but all of the re repetitions just disappeared. And that's not what I want to do. So I'm going to come in here, hide that merge path, and I'm going to show you how to fix that. And what you do is you go into the the group that has the rectangle and the repeater and we're going to add a merge paths to that make sure it's down below the repeater because layer order matters and so what it's doing is it's merging everything above it so the rectangle and it's merging the repeater so then now when we come into this merge path outside of that group turn it back on it's going to cut out everything just the way we want it to. Now, this isn't something that you're going to have to encounter every day, but when you do, you're going to need to know this trick. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.